everyone, I'm Scarecrow85, and welcome to Phasmophobia. You've probably heard of this game, you've probably seen it. I'm not exactly <laughs> the first to have recorded any footage of this game. Right, discover what type of ghost we're dealing with, capture a photo of dirty water in the sink, cleanse the area or near the ghost, and capture a photo of the ghost. We don't have stick, smudge sticks to cleanse the area, so we're just going to go in there. Let's take a few bits and bobs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Torch is essential, so I'm absolutely taking doop doop the torch. But here we go. Uh, I can only really carry two other things with me when doing this because I'm playing solo, so I don't have anyone else to carry any of the good stuff. So I have to work as quickly as possible here. We are on easy, so we've got five minutes to set up. Uh, and sort out this ghost. So, first thing we're going to do, thermometer in my opinion is like the most useful item in the entire game. Using the thermometer is a really good way of locating the ghost relatively quickly. So what I'm doing is I am scanning all around this place with the thermometer out and I am getting a read on each room in turn and trying to find out if the temperature drops to anything below 10 degrees. Although honestly, if it drops below 13 degrees, it's a good indication that the room is cold enough for the ghost to be in it. Uh, because, as you'll see, <coughs> excuse me, the, ma the majority of this uh, entire building is going to read between 18 and 13 degrees. So, uh, if it ever drops below 13, that's your, your first indication. Uh, you're absolutely certain if it drops below 10. If if it drops below zero, that's evidence. So what we're trying to do here is gather evidence on the ghost in order to identify it. We need three pieces of evidence to conclusively identify it, although we can take a good guess if we just have two pieces of evidence. Um, and it's possible to do it. Just one bit of evidence. I've done it before, but we'll see. We'll see how we do. So evidence is things like sub-zero temperatures, it's getting uh, writing in the ghost book, it's getting a readout on the EMF reader, all of these things we're going to try, but before that we've got to find where to, because most of these items have to be placed and planted in order for them to function. Oh, so first of all we're going to try and find where to place and plant our items. Not getting any readings anywhere yet. Uh, right. This house can be a pain, actually. I've I've had it so many times in the past with this house. You'll get a reading in a room or in a corridor or something, and then so I can hear something creaking, but most of the time, little noises like that are just there to spook you. They're not actually useful. Uh, and it's not an indication of ghost proximity. Um, <sighs> nothing. No readouts. Yeah, this house can be a nightmare. I've uh, so many times I've had readings in the corridors that are completely impossible to pin down, um, or I've had the ghost seemingly moving constantly throughout the house. And so I haven't been able to get uh, a decent bead on where it is at all. That's all stuff that can happen, and it's a nightmare. Um, but it seems to be exclusive to this house. Oh, this is the pool door. <laughs> Let's turn the light on in here. Because ghost switching lights off can often be useful information. Hang on, did we just get a... Oh, oh, oh! Hang on. Minus zero? Where? Hold on, is the ghost in this room? Minus two. Fifteen. Minus one. I just heard a footstep really near me. Okay, well, the ghost appears to be here, so that's great news. Oh, the door just shut. Okay. Right, we'll pop the uh, the ghost book down there. Most ghosts don't operate. Oh, hang on, we can we can drop that as well. Gee. 
So I didn't see my breath, but I'm pretty sure, well, it went below zero, so that is freezing temperatures. So now, as a solo player, um, we have to work as quickly as possible. It's a shame that I didn't pick up on that sub-zero read sooner, because that wasted a lot of time going around the house. But we've still got 34 seconds on the clock there, which is good. So the clock, the timer, the five minutes that we had going into this thing, that... Uh, that's your setup time. That is uh, a sort of grace period in which the ghost will not attack you. The higher the difficulty, the shorter the uh, stint of time that you get given. Because I can hear footsteps and I can hear doors closing and stuff, and they did say that the ghost was quite aggressive, um, I am airing on the side of caution, and I am placing... I'm taking the, the clicky camera with me. Hang on. There we go. Um, I'm taking the the stills camera. Normally I wouldn't bring that until later, but because uh, usually you have to wait for the ghost to sort of become active before it's likely to actually show its face, but I don't want to miss getting a picture of it. Oh, hello. I didn't turn that light on. Which one's that? Is that this? Nope. Where's the switch for that light? How do I turn this one on? I'm not sure. Oh, wait. Ugh. I heard another footstep quite close. Okay, come on now. The, the cursor is so small and hard to see in this game. It's a tiny little circle in the middle, and it, there's, there's v like, the hitbox for that circle is literally the circle, so hitting things that are also small, like the light switch, can sometimes be a pain. Right then, okay, good. We've got plenty of activity coming from the ghost there. With the lights off, we should be able to see quite well in here. Although I feel like maybe I've got the... That's where the cold temperature was, but I'm wondering if maybe we've got the camera pointing the wrong way, because that light was on over there. I don't know how long fingerprints last for. I'm just watching this footage to see if I can catch a glimpse of any ghost orbs. The lights are off in there, as you can see. Uh, ghost orbs can take any amount of time to start appearing. Ah, there's one! Good, we've got ghost orbs. Boop, 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 boop. Ghost orb. What was that limited to? Yure, Mare, or Phantom. So, uh, if we get ghost writing, it's a Yure. Fingerprints, nothing, so I don't need to go looking for fingerprints. If it's spirit box, it's a Mare. And it's a phantom if EMF level 5. Okay, so I am using a computer that isn't compatible with voice recognition, so I can't actually use the spirit box. The spirit box is where you talk and the ghost re replies. I can't actually do that, so we need to do this by process of elimination. So I need to check for EMF level 5 and check the ghost book to see if it's been written in. That's how we're going to find this guy. It's actually quite convenient because I've only got one free slot in my inventory right now, so I'm going to take the EMF reader. Roll forwards once for click camera. Roger that. Um, we're going to go in with the lights off because the ghost will be more likely to appear and attack in dark. And right, we're in the ghost's domain now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come and stand here with my back to this door and wait. Of course, if it's behind me, I am screwed, but I know the ghost is somewhere around here. Actually, no, this is... Oh! Oh! Here we go. Right, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay, so, no picture of the ghost, but water started running, and I got a picture of dirty water, and it wrote in the book, which means, da 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 da, we've got ghostwriting. It's a Yuri. Job done. Oh yeah, if I flick through to here, you can see dirty water and interaction. So interaction was it writing in the ghost book, dirty water as well is a sign of ghost activity, so yeah, it, we, we're not going to get any uh, uh, EMF readings or fingerprints because it's not that kind of ghost. We have identified it. That was a good run!
Uh, I could stick around in there and try and get a picture of it, but I mean, it's a fairly aggressive type of ghost, I think, Yuri. Yuri. Oni. Yuri. Yuri is a ghost that was returned for the physical world, blah, blah, blah. Unique strengths. They have been known to have a stronger effect on people's sanity. Uh, it's weak to smudge sticks. Not a great amount of information. 85% sanity. Capture a photo of dirty water in a sink. Hooray! Yeah, that'll do it. I'm happy with that. <laughs> and that is a successful ghost hunt in Phasmophobia. Let's just have a look at the concluding scoreboard. You may have noticed my graphics are a bit smudgy. That's a shame. <laughs> I had to turn them down quite a bit. My computer isn't really up to running it at full power. And... Uh, it actually crashes if I go to any map that isn't a house. <laughs> no, I can't even go to the farmhouses. Okay, so we were right. It's a euro. We get ten dollars. Objective two for the photo. Uh, ten photos, insurance, whatever that's for. So forty dollars. Here we go. All right, here we go. This is mission number two of two that we're going to have in this video. This is Tanglewood House. So it's the one. You know, the one bedroom easy mode place. Discover the type of ghost. Find, use the EMF reader. Detect a room below 10 Celsius and capture a photo of the water. Technically, we could do all of these things. That's nice, isn't it? We've only got two minutes, though. This is an intermediate mission. So, a little bit harder than the usual casual stuff. Uh, it means that we have two minutes to set up instead of five. Hmm. That in itself should not be a problem as uh, this is a small oh, have we got everything? yeah, okay because this is a small house and I'm on my own so two minutes let's see how it goes did I pick up the key? yes I did right, so yeah, two minutes to set up I think the higher the difficulty the more aggressive the ghost uh, the quicker the ghost becomes aggressive, um, the more of a drain on your uh, sanity the ghost will be as well. Player sanity drops quicker, ghost aggressiveness increases faster, um, there's less time between ghost hunting. Uh, the ghost hunts last longer, I think, and obviously your um, set time. Your your grace period at the start goes down from oh, goes down from five minutes to two. On expert mode, uh, sorry, uh, what's it called? Professional mode. You have no setup grace period. It's zero seconds. Zero minutes. Zero seconds. So yeah, I'm hurrying through this as quickly as I can, trying to sort of count off two minutes in my head as best as possible. Mm, nothing in here. I always think that that mannequin would be way more frightening if it had a head and arms. Or even legs as well. Like, just being a torso, it doesn't really look like anything. But I'm pretty sure if they had, like, a proper like mannequin mannequin, I would pee myself every time I saw it, because it would look like a person. I'd be like, no, that's a ghost! Maybe that's why they don't. Well, that's everywhere except down here, I think. Is it a uh, cellar ghost we've got this time? No, apparently not. Great. I'm not getting any readings from anywhere. <sighs> it's going to be one of these, isn't it? What am I supposed to do about this? Okay, well it's been two minutes, that's for sure. And I have no idea where the ghost is. Ah! Is it this bedroom or this corridor? Kind of both by the look of it. Not sure. Let's plonk this on the floor here. That should do it. Right, okay. 
we've got something. Oh, hang on, the lights have gone off. Yeah, okay. So the ghost has hit the circuits. That's not really a problem. We can reset those. Although I'm not going to. <laughs> I can't be bothered. If it's the type of ghost that's going to turn off the lights on me, it's just going to keep turning off the lights on me. Ooh, it's active though as well. Ooh. Ooh. All right, well, let's take that. And let's take this. Not sure where I'm going to put the camera, because I don't know whether the ghost is in the room or in the corridor, since my readings were coming from kind of both. Oh, I hate ones like this. Such a pain not knowing where the blasted ghost ghost actually is. Um, let's go into the bedroom and pop this over here, I guess? Can I, can I, excuse me, can, do these still have power? No. Boop. Oh. Well, we've got ghost writing. Oh my gosh, did you hear that? Oh, damn, oh, it was right in front of me. Oh, I didn't get a picture of it. Did you see that? It was right in front of me. Oh, it's too slow on the shutter. Blast and dang it. Okay, did that? Oh, I don't suppose that counted as a picture, did it? I heard it before I saw it, now it's a picture of nothing. Wonderful. Oh, dear. Well, it's a ghostwriting spook anyway, which is a bad thing because they're generally really aggressive ones. Okay. <laughs> I don't like this one. Spoopy sucker. Oh, I can't believe I missed the chance to take a picture of it. What do we have to do? Get the thermometer. We need to find evidence of it with the EMF reader. Right. Just waiting here to see if we can get uh, ghost orbs. Okay, I think we can discount ghost orbs. Uh, what have we got? Camera, torch... Can I, have we got space for anything else? No. Okay, so I think the ghost's um, spawn point is in that corner. Right there. So, if it's going to hunt me, it's going to come from here. Oh, we've got an EMF 5. Right, okay. This is looking good. Uh, ghost writing, ghost orb, fingerprints, spirit box, EMF 5. Could be a revenant, a shade, or an oni. Uh, what do we need for each one? So, freezing temps makes it nothing. Ghost orb would make it a shade, but I don't think we've got ghost orbs, so we can discount that. Fingerprints would make it a revenant. Spirit box would make it an oni. Well, we can't check spirit box because we don't have voice recognition. So, what did we say it was again? Um, oh yeah, ghost orb. So it's either ghost orb or fingerprints. That would make it a revenant. Hmm. All right. Well, we don't need that anymore. We need to go and check for fingerprints. This is going to be a bit scary now because it's been more than long enough for this thing to become really aggressive. Yeah, I mean, look at that. I mean, it was already aggressive as soon as the two minutes ran out. It was capable of hunting me. But as time passes, these things get, as we know, more and more aggressive. And time has passed enough now that I think this thing's going to hunt me almost as soon as I go back in there. And I'm really not happy about that. Uh, on the plus side, I know where it's going to spawn from. On the negative side... Oh, didn't like that at all. Sorry, hang on. <laughs> um, so, on the plus side, that's fine. I know where it's going to come from. On the negative side, I have to walk through its spawn point in order to uh, get into the room and check for fingerprints. I've got a feeling I'm going to get got on this one. Um, but let's give it a go anyway. Not happy about this. 
I really don't want to go in here. Um, right, I'm thinking that's a negative on fingerprints. I don't see any. So... Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> which would make it a spirit box situation, which is an Oni. Yeah, I know, that was kind of cowardly. We saw the ghost, we got a picture of a thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's no... <coughs> I'm pretty sure there's no fingerprints in there. This thing's activity is absolutely mental. And my mental state... Oh, look! Oh, I've got the EMF reader thingy to do. No dirty water in the sink, though. Um, here's a question. So, I think I know what it is. I can get out of here and get paid. As a single player, normally this is where I would finish, because the dying doesn't serve any purpose at this point. Hmm... But I could go in and search for dirty water in the sink. Because I know that his spawn point's there, he's not likely... Mm, no, he'll hunt me and get me. I'm gonna go. <laughs> That's the thing! Yeah, uh, you know what? Wait. This is too much fun. I've gotta go and find... I'm gonna go and check the kitchen, at least. I know that I'm gonna get got. Probably gonna get got. This is foolish. But let's just go in once, do another quick recce. See if we can find dirty water in a sink, and then we're going to scram. Did I open that door? Yeah, I did. I'm just going to check the kitchen sink. Okay, nothing there. Alright, I feel like I've done everything I can. I know that there are other sinks in this place, but uh, I've had enough of this, I reckon. The ghost is too aggressive. Well, I say too aggressive, he's not actually done that much to threaten me, but I just wanted to make sure that I'd uh, explored everything. The other, like, there's one other, where's the other sink, actually? I'm not sure. Screw it, don't care. <laughs> Let's get out of here! We've got an Oni on our hands, I reckon. I think it's a spirit box. I can't check, because I can't talk to it. But, if it's not spirit ghost orbs... And we didn't see any, and we were looking right at its spawn point, I'm pretty confident of that. Uh, it had to be that, because we didn't find any fingerprints. Hey, there we go, that's what we like to see. Wow, look at that, oh, of course we're playing on intermediate, so we get 90. There we go, and now I'm level 20. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> awesome, right, well... There you go. There was a couple of Phasmophobia uh, little adventures for you. Um, you may have noticed that I don't do a whole lot of screaming and, and freaking out, as a lot of other YouTubers do. I'm sorry, I know that that's probably more entertaining, uh, but I just don't get that spooked by this stuff. It does does give me the chills sometimes, I've got to admit. That, that was pretty hairy just then. Uh, I was a little bit cowardly towards the end, but, you know, I don't want to die. I'm, I'm a single player. I lose everything if I die, and I was, I was carrying a of items I didn't want to lose. So, well, one item. My my thermometer. Damn, that thing's useful. <laughs> right, but anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Like, subscribe. You know how YouTube works. Thank you once again for watching this video, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.